Mr. Chairman, I just want to thank all our departments for what they did this weekend, keeping everyone safe and the police, the fire, and also public works. They were still out there working pretty hard today, and I know they did all weekend, so thank you. Mr. B uh, Mr. Russell, Mr. Bridal. Yeah, I'd like to say the same thing. You know, we, uh, we had a, a terrible storm, uh, but it's nothing like we haven't seen before in this town. And as usual, our workers, both police, fire, public works, uh, came out. You know, uh, we had a lot of wind. We had a number of houses that were hit with downed trees. We had a number of power outages for extended period of times in part of town. But we made it through it. And uh, I, wanna, I just want to thank everybody that was out there. Uh, I I'm a little concerned with all the, as somebody wrote, the yahoos that were riding around the beach all summer and, 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 and getting in our police and fire department's way and the, uh, the state public works. Uh, you know, when we have a storm like that, I know it's pretty nice to go down and look at the beach. But please, stay off there. Let the police fire do their job. It's not good for your car. Um, and because uh, we have another one coming in, in two days. So uh, just be careful and be safe. Thank you. Mr. Griffin. Yes, I'd also like to uh, thank the police, the fire, the DPW, all the people that did a, a good job, and I'm sure they're going to be busy this week again. But <clears throat> I totally agree with what Rusty said. Um, I uh, was right at on Ocean Boulevard for every one of those high tides, and it was really unbelievable how many people were driving around. On a Friday night, I estimate it was more than 1,000 <laughs> cars an hour rode by my place. I kept counting the um, the every so many like every ten minutes I would count and there was twenty to the, most of the time closer to thirty people cars a minute going by. Some of them were the police and some of them were people that were doing the you know good work. But it was just it was terrible how many people were out there and uh, some at times the police had them stop so that they were uh, had to just make a circle at Little Jack's and go back again. But to ride through that water, it was, I think it does nothing but cause problems. And uh, definitely co would have caused problems for me, except that I had sandbags all set up and ready to go, and it was very successful. I didn't get any water. Um, but to me, to have that many people, on I don't know if it was because it was Friday night, but Saturday night there were very few people the same time uh, you know, period. But between 11 o'clock and 1.30 on Friday night, it was unbelievable how many people were out. So I hope that we'll be able to dis discuss that here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Chief's here. He hasn't gotten any sleep in about uh, 129,000 hours, so I want to make this quick. Uh, sometimes when you you do your job so well and there are no casualties and there are, there are no incidents and there are no, are no injuries and there are no deaths people minimize the uh the professionalism that's executed by this municipal platform uh directed by mr welch so kudos uh to every single one of those uh, fine young men and women that work for the town of hampton and for those that did stay out of the way the rubbernecking is a big problem and those that underestimate the force of mother nature are often uh, uh, at the peril of losing their lives. As Mr. Bridal knows, uh, is a, a skipper with the fire department, is our chief knows. So again, uh, sometimes when you're so successful uh, that nothing happens, that people minimize the threat and the danger, and it was very, very, very dangerous. 